Most people who are traveling are very aware of the clothing and the property that they're carrying with them. Something I have found most interesting is how people think they have the right to treat a homeless person or a person who is traveling without a vehicle today. The arrogance of people is that everyone should have a car, and I would agree with them. And I once had one that was fully paid for by myself, as well as the helpfulness of a late father's estate who did not want me to, to be homeless and did not want to be, me to be carless. Since then, however, other people have taken over the leadership and the monitoring of my mother's money that which she inherited. And openly, while they may have benefited, I did not. And that's okay by me. They have spent their time accounting for what they think is their right to look over my father's property papers, but not realize that my father did not always make them notes that he kept in his mind. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and a man's money and his property and his bequeathments belong to him, not to anyone else who is simply there to help, manage, and pay bills for the mother. Now that's all I'm going to say on that. In America, we can talk about hate crimes. In this image that you're seeing at the beginning of this particular conversation is a pair of clothing. The clothing has been resized several times and openly now it does not fit me. I am very angry about this because a man desires to have clothing to wear and he will never tolerate you doing anything insulting by trying to put him in clothing that you prefer for him when he does not even know you, you bastard strangers of America. In America, we have rights to claim our own fashion. We have our rights to claim our own hairstyles. We also have the right to say, you may not touch me physically, or mentally, or emotionally, or psychologically, or spiritually. These are our human rights here. When you get involved with the hate crimes you are conducting, you are putting yourself at risk to your own life and your own rights and responsibilities in America. <laughs>